This is what happens when you surround yourself with people who love fish. When you love fish yourself, you wind up with a pet store just like this. This is Fish Planet located in Deerfield, Illinois. I will put their information down in the description below. This is an amazing store. As we go through this fish store tour, you're going to notice a very clean pet store. One of the other things I noticed as I was filming throughout the pet store and something I often do when I'm in a fish store is I was paying attention to how the employees were treating their customers and they were extremely respectful. They had a lot of patience. They answered all their questions and I really found it impressive how patient the employees were with the customers and how much knowledge they really had. Now you should know people have been telling me to go to this pet store and check it out for a long time. Finally got a chance to do that. It's only about 45 minutes away from my house and boy, I'm glad I did get a chance to check it out. Now I can see for myself why people hold this fish store in such high regard. Again, you're seeing very clean, very nice looking tanks, in some cases very nicely aquascape tanks. And we're gonna see that they have a really a nice collection of fish. And not only that, but the prices were really fair as well. Obviously, when you walk into a pet store, one of the things that you're really looking for is making sure that the fish are very healthy. Now, I don't announce, I don't let pet stores know or fish stores know that I am going to be taking a look at their store before I show up because I really want to see what it looks like without any advance notice. And I was so impressed. The tanks look great. The fish were healthy. And what's really interesting is we showed up after really one of their busy times right around the holidays and they still had a very nice selection of fish. Again, with a big selection, you're gonna have a lot of different types of fish. There's some glow light tetras in this tank, some nice looking mollies were in that tank as well. Over here, we've got the parrot fish. These are always goofy. There's a nice size electric blue acara showing great color. Here we've got some red eye tetras. These are usually kind of beginner fish, or at least it's how they're sold, but they're actually somewhat aggressive and best kept in large groups. Uh, here we've got one of my favorites, that's the Celebes rainbow that we're seeing swimming around over there. Uh, we've got a couple other different types of fish in here. We've got some platies as well. Here we've got more platies. I see some green kubatai rasbora, which are really nice nano fish. Of course, gotta have some tiger barbs. And these were really healthy tiger barbs. Nice size, great color. Love the sailfin mollies in the background. They were really pretty. Had such a nice deep orange color. Got mixed in with some various tetras. Here we've got some white clouds. These are the albino white clouds, or I should say the gold white clouds, not really albino. But in here, we've got the black phantom tetra. This is one of my all time favorite types of tetras. Keep them in a big group and they get a nice deep purple color with a little bit of blue as well. A really pretty fish. Here again, we've got some more platies hanging out, kind of doing their thing. These were the blue bleeding heart tetra. We actually have some of these. They're somewhat rare. They're not easy to find. They kind of look like a black neon tetra, but they have a little bit more blue. Like I said, we've got a half a dozen in a 20 gallon tank and I really like them. Here we've got the brilliant green rasbora. By the way, we've done species profiles on a lot of the fish that you're seeing in this video. I will put some of them down in the description below. If you want some more information, you can look there. Here we've got some dwarf grammy in this tank. Really nice. I like the way this tank was kind of aquascaped. It looked good. Really love this fish. This is the African banded barb. It's not terribly common and I really like that they had them. They're very interesting, very cool, nice color. Had a hard time filming these guppies so I just figured I would show you them from what they look like at the top of the tank which was pretty cool. Here we've got some rainbow fish, we've got some rasboras mixed in here. They had a nice selection of rainbow fish, a lot of cool nice colors, big 
which is pretty nice because the rainbow fish you have to wait sometimes to see them grow up and really look nice so it's always great when you can go to a pet store and you can find them at a little bit of a larger size here we've got some bolivian rams down there towards the bottom as well as some ruby barbs some more rainbow fish at the top we've got our red tail looks like our red tail sharks and possibly some rainbow sharks in there We've got some Congo Tetras here. I really like those fish. They get such great colors and the males, especially the dominant males, get some really nice fins. Here on the right hand side, you can see some tinfoil barbs. We've talked about them before. Now tinfoil barbs are awesome, but you've got to have a really large tank to keep them properly. At least a six foot 180, but you'd be better off with even maybe an eight foot tank. Here we've got what looks to be some Daniels. Now check out this rainbow tank. This is what I was talking about when we're looking at fish that are already showing color. They're of nice size. This is pretty exciting. So for you rainbow fish fans out there, again, they had a nice selection and the red rainbows are one of my favorites. Here we've got what appears to be some maybe either neon tetras or diamond head tetras uh, here we've got a bunch of black skirt and white skirt tetras these are nice fish need a little bit of a larger tank loved this tank we've got the uh, filamentosis bar we've also got the red hook silver dollars which are pretty cool both of these fish can get somewhat large but are nice schooling fish and then we've got a whole bunch of nano fish they had a nano fish set up which was pretty cool these were the platinum rice fish really like them we've had them in the fish room numerous times and there's lots of different varieties of rice fish nice looking rams we have we can see we got the standards here we had the electric yellow down there at the bottom if you keep them warm in the low 80s they're usually going to do fairly well for you These were fish I absolutely love. These are the Neon Blue Rasbora. They stay small. They kind of sort of look a little bit like a Neon, but they're gonna be on the smaller side. And if I had space in my fish room, every single quarantine tank that we have was filled with fish. Otherwise we would have had a group of these coming home with us because this is something we've wanted for a while. This was one of my favorite tanks and you see it as soon as you walk in the door. And the reason it was one of my favorites, you see those red cherry tetras there? I actually did a species profile on these fish a while back. They are not cheap fish. They are not terribly common, but you can see why they might be a little bit more on the expensive side. Look at the colors of these fish and I have a group of 10 at home and they are every bit as orange as the ones you see here. These are the real deal. They are awesome. If you can find these fish, like I said, retail, they're going to be very expensive, but they're well worth the price. Here we've got some Oscars. I don't think any fish store would be complete without showing some cool Oscars. Got some angel fish here as well. Lots of different varieties. You see the kois and the marbles. And of course, we've got some silly looking goofy goldfish just kind of doing their thing, swimming all around, uh, doing what they do. And over here, we've got the Madagascar rainbow in the upper right hand corner. That's a fish I like quite a bit. Some pandacories down there and that koi angel right above. And we've got some geophagus mixed in with some rainbow fish in this tank. Love geophagus, so many different types. Here, we've got some platies, we've got some rainbow fish, and we've got some angel fish at the top. So there's a nice mix of fish there for you. And over here, we've got what appears to be maybe some, oh, the sabwa or the rummy nose rasbora. These are absolutely great fish. And check out these cardinal tetras. They were big. I know it's really hard to judge size when you look at them on camera, but they were very big, very healthy, and very colorful. And it's nice to see Cardinal Tetras looking like that, especially in Chicago water. Uh, here we've got another nice group of fish and more of those Cherry Tetras, which I like so much. And they ha also had some pretty cool discus, uh, not tons of them, but the ones they had were really nice. So again, this was Fish Planet. Their information is down in the description below if you want to check it out. If you're in the Chicagoland area, highly recommend. It is definitely worth the trip. Really appreciate you being here, and we will see you in the next one. And again, if you want more information on some of the fish we featured in this video, check out the description below.